piece, an opinion piece in Northwestern University's student newspaper sparking a new debate. As this headline from Campus Reform sums it up, blaming Jim Crow, Northwestern student journalist says the way white people walk on sidewalks is too racist. Let's discuss it with KTTH, Seattle talk radio host, Jason Rance. Welcome back, Jason. How are you? I'm doing great. Okay, so I want to read this article because I thought I want to try to understand what this writer means here. This is a part of his opinion piece. He says, after talking to my black friends about my experience, the way that people walk, white people were walking on sidewalks, they echoed it. People at this predominantly white school would not move out of our way on the sidewalk. He said, white people came to expect the right of way in public spaces and essentially every aspect of our society, including the way we physically move through space, has been shaped by a racist Legacy. Now, I was hoping for more details uh, here about yeah. whether people were just standing side by side, refusing to let him pass. And I really don't understand what happened. But he goes on to say that the way that white people walk on, walk on sidewalks uh, is about them um, wanting to be predominant and wanting them to, um, you know, be the preferred person to move about in public to the detriment of others. Yeah, you shouldn't expect any kind of detail. Although, you know what, frankly, I was willing to dunk on this piece after I read it, but then I walked home from work today. And on the way home, and every time a crosswalk light did not go my way, I realized it was anti-Semitic. It was gumming against me because mm -hmm. I am a Jew. That was clearly the case. Look, when you read stories like this, there are two types of people, generally speaking. The people who write this stuff, who painstakingly dissect something that they experience, they interpret it through this critical race theory lens and they put it into an editorial that masquerades as some sort of deep dive think piece that everyone is supposed to applaud as brave. And then you've got the people who try to decipher this stuff, right? Wondering if it actually has a point. It doesn't quite make sense on the surface, but it's written in a way that you kind of wonder like, okay, could he maybe have a point? He's talking about things in terms that we kind of understand maybe. But I, Shannon, would like to posit a third group of people, a third type, the type who just rejects these silly exercises in self preening. Let's just realize everything in this editorial is just absolute nonsense. And we can sit back and just call it what it is. Crazy talk. Let's stop pretending that this is a legitimate editorial with legitimate ideas. It's not. People are being taught that everything is racist. And sometimes we need to just call it for what it is, because he is going to grow up and he's going to pretend that what he has to say is legitimate, and people are going to pretend what he's saying is, in fact, legitimate, and he's going to grow up to become Joy Reid. And you know what? We need less Joy Reeds in the world, not more. Well, he, he might get his own show on another network uh, if that happens. I want to quickly ask you about this other piece. Look at this those ratings, though. Washington. I, well... Duly noted. Uh, I want to very quickly, <laughs> University of Washington, um, another writer said, spring break reminded me that I can't trust white people. And he goes on to say, my white peers are disappointing me. They're following the footsteps of their violent white supremacist ancestors by traveling to places like Hawaii and Mexico. Quick comment from you on that piece as well. Yeah, well, if you don't go to Hawaii or Mexico, then you're also called racist because why aren't you going to Hawaii or Mexico? You're put in a position where you're literally damned if you do, damned if you don't. So just stay home, I guess, and be called a racist. Now vacation, going on spring break, going anywhere is racist. Going places is racist. What are we supposed to do? Just give us the rule book. Just tell us what we're supposed to do. And really what we're going to be told is just listen to us every single time and shut up. Okay, fine. Okay, well, the, well, we'll leave it there for now. Um, I'd love to hear from more of these writers if they see this and they want to explain some more. Uh, we're all ears. Oh, please don't do that. Jason. We don't want to hear from these people anymore. <laughs> please, no, please. Okay, Jason says he doesn't want to hear. Uh, Jason, uh, <laughs> have a great night and safe travel home you. to you and all your walkways and otherwise. Thanks, Jason. Thank you, Shannon. Well, the Biden Justice.